Hello everyone, welcoming you to Shore of Source classes and today we are looking at the IIT JAM 2023 economics paper question number 52. So a consumer has a utility function u is max of 0.5x1, 0.5x2 plus min of x1, x2. She has some positive income y and faces positive prices p1 and p2 for good 1 and 2 respectively. There exists a lowest price P1 bar such that if P1 greater than P1 bar, then the unique utility maximizing choice is to buy only good 2. Then P1 bar is what in integer? So let us write down the utility function once more. So u as a function of x1, x2 is equals to max of 0.5 x1 comma 0.5 x2 plus min of x1 x2 so there are two goods good one and good two now if you look at this structure carefully for the max part first if 0.5 x1 is greater than 0.5 x2 that means if x1 is greater than x2 then what will be my utility function u of x1 x2 would be equals to 0.5 x1 plus since 0.5 x1 greater than 0.5 x2 means x1 greater than x2 the min part which is min of x1 x2 would simply become x2 and the other way around if 0.5 x2 is greater than 0.5 x1 that would imply that x2 is greater than x1 so in that case my utility function would become u of x1 x2 is equals to 0.5 x2 for the first part and since x2 is greater than x1 the min part will give us x1 so that means basically if you see this utility function u of x1 x2 can now be written as zero point five x1 plus x2 when x1 greater than x2 and it is x1 plus zero point five x2 when x2 is greater than x1 or x1 is less than x2. So essentially it is representing the perfect substitutes kind of a utility function but it has two forms depending upon the condition of x1 and x2. So if we try to plot the indifference curve there are two goods x1 and x2 0 over here x1 equals to x2 would be the 45 degree line from the origin positively sloped so this is my x1 is equals to x2 the bottom part implies x1 greater than x2 and the upper part implies x1 lesser than x2 right that's the region so basically we need to plot the indifference curves in each of the parts and this will give us the complete indifference map. So let us plot the indifference curve for one part. Let us consider the lower part for x1 greater than x2. In that case my utility function looks like 0.5x1 plus x2. So differentiated throughout that is 0.5 dx1 plus dx2 du would be 0 for a particular indifference curve so 0 equals to 0.5 dx1 plus dx2 so that implies dx2 is equals to minus of 0.5 dx1 so dx2 by dx1 is equals to minus of 0 0.5. So in the lower part, we will have a straight line whose slope is 
okay so in this part the absolute slope is 0.5 if we take a look at the upper part for x2 greater than x1 or x1 less than x2 in that case the utility function is something like x1 plus 0.5 x2 if we do a very similar calculation the intercepts will just get swapped so that will give us minus of 1 by 0.5 so that is minus 2 so that means the upper part the line would be slightly steeper something like this so this part the absolute slope is and this is my indifference curve. Okay. Now it is given in the question that the income is Y. P1 and P2 are the prices of the two goods and P2 is equals to 1. These are the conditions that are given over here. So in that case, given the situations, how would the equation of the budget line look like? Y is equals to P1X1 plus P2X2. And where would the optimal be obtained? Where the highest possible indifference curve is meeting the budget line. So if you look at this uh, indifference curve structure over here and the question says, that we want to find out that level of price P1 bar such that at the utility maximizing choice is to buy only good 2. So what is the slope of the budget line? It is minus P1 by P2. So the absolute slope is simply P1 by P2. Given P2 is equals to 1. So in this case, it is only P1. So now the question is, what should be the slope of the budget line? If you look at the diagram, if the budget line slope is steeper than the 2, that means more than the upper part, in that case, the optimal would be to buy only x2. And on the other hand, if the slope of the budget line is something which is lesser than half, that means smaller than the lowest part, then the optimal would be to buy only x1. So, if P1 is greater than 2, then buy only X2. And if P1 is less than equals to 0.5, then buy only X1. These are the two conditions in which at the optimal, the consumer is buying only one of the goods. Now, in the question we are asked, at the utility optimizing choice, we should buy only good 2. So only good 2 we mean we are talking about this optimal. So the minimum price that will ensure that we are having only good 2 purchase at the optimal is equals to 2. So P1 bar is equals to 2. Thank you.